Hi guys. Well, I thought while I'd do this uh, little vlog, I might as well um, do something on camera so you've got something to watch while I chat about complete bollocks. <laughs> um, those Lego pieces I ordered have arrived. Uh, they arrived this morning. Got some junk mail as well. Oops, I'm throwing everything away. It's got the one there. Isn't it? Just make sure that's working fine. Yeah, this is the um we're gonna be the short extension lead. This is actually quite difficult. Because I've got two uh not only keep an eye on the um, camera so I can see that I'm still in shot, or well, most of it's still in shot. Hang on a second. Let's uh, bring the camera down just a smidge. There's no hinges, it's just got bendy legs on the camera, so. Uh, not on the camera, on the tripod. No. Uh, the trick to using one of these to strip the wires is not to go too deep, otherwise, you'll. Uh, cut into the insulation of the wires if you don't want to do that uh, like I just did because I pressed too hard so that's not safe so we try again really if you've got a good standing knife all you need to do is just score just like that and then when you bend and twist the insulation it should uh, there we go. Just double check, I haven't gone into the wires. Nope. We're good to go. He says, throwing the insulation across the floor. Okay. Yeah, these are all the same. Live on the left, neutral on the right. Uh, so I'm just going to release the cord grip a bit. that come up? No, it's going to be a pain. Doesn't want to play ball. Oy, 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 oy. There we go. It's going to play ball now. <laughs> right. We'll play ball. Lay my cable in here. Get the wires splayed around where they're meant to be. Yeah, this is the one I'm making for the um, Christmas lights I need to get power to, so I don't need to worry about an earth wire for that specific use. But if I were to uh, want to use this extension lead on something, say, I don't know, toaster, lawnmower, angle grinder, drill, or anything that requires a ground, then that would be an absolute no-no, because there's no earth. Well, I could, but I'd be doing it at my own risk. So, yeah, I don't recommend it. And I can't find my wire cutters, so uh, I'm using a pair of scissors. I used to use scissors when I was younger and my mum used to give me such an earache for it. You're using my good fucking scissors again, aren't you? <laughs> oh, she used to hate me for that. Right, there's one. Because I haven't got my wire cutters or, or any strippers present, I'm uh, using my teeth to strip the insulation back. That's why I've just gone off camera for a moment. I don't recommend using your teeth. I give you toothache. <laughs> but I've been doing that for... Uh, I don't know how long I've been doing that for. Years. Well, I'll do it if I can't find my actual wire snips. And I don't know where they're gone. I've got like four pairs. And I know there's at least two downstairs. And I should have. 
two up here as well, but I can't find either of them. And no, it didn't actually check to see if the screw was unscrewed far enough, and it isn't. It is loose though. But yeah, these sockets are always the same. You're live on your left, neutral on the right, as you look at it. They're labelled anyway, so you just look at the labels. N for neutral, so you'd put your blue there. There should be an N. Yeah, there's an N just underneath the wire, and there's a live marking there, a nice L. And there should either be an E or the Earth symbol. Can't actually see any on this one. Oh yeah, there is an E. There's an E down there for the Earth. Anyway, we're done. Just make sure the screws are tight. Whoops. Need to get some new insulated screwdrivers. You can see this one's rather um, worn. another bloody plug through. I forgot the Christmas lights I'm going to use this on. I've uh, forgotten needed to put a plug on that. <laughs> I bought a plug through for the extension cord. So I could even get away with putting a 3 amp fuse in this as I'm only using it for lights. It's got a purpose. Oh this is... Whoa! Okay, that is how you don't wire a plug. Look at all that bare wire, it goes from here. <laughs> what on earth did I cut this off of? Oh my god, they've done the same with the live as well. Oh, no. No, and there's lots of strands flailing everywhere in there. No, that's a fail. This is why, people. If I buy any second-hand electrical appliances in the UK that have these rewirable plugs on, I check them <laughs> before I plug them in for this specific reason. Obviously, I didn't with this one. Unless this is a plug I cut off something, I don't know, at my friends. Um... I was having a clear out and I rescued the plug, because sometimes I do that. If it's got a good clean plug on it, like this one. It's quite an old style from the look of it, but it is compliant. It's got the insulated pins. And it's the right size, so... Oh, <laughs> just knocked the camera with the screw. I'm just going to see if I can... I can't sit on the chair properly, because uh, guess where Nemo is? <laughs> He's behind me on the chair. Right. Back those off and screw the earth screw all the way in because I don't need that. I've actually made once an extension cord, which if I'm not kidding was sort of that long. Because <laughs> it was for a kettle where mum used to live. They'd put the um, outlets too high on the wall, so even with a kettle sitting on the worktop, the lead wouldn't reach the outlet, so uh, I just whipped up a uh, extension lead, three core cable obviously, because it was going for a cable, um, kettle, a cable, come on you bugger, that's it, split, um, just made a really short one just so they could use the kettle. <sighs> They've still got it, actually. They don't use it, but... Because uh, they've moved since I made that, so they don't use that one. But uh, I made it two years ago, actually. Because uh, where they are now, the outlets are at a proper height, not too high up the bloody wall. I don't know what the electrician was thinking when they put them up there. If it was an electrician that did it. 
No, it might have been um, a DIY job for all I know. That'll do, we'll just stick the sockets here. Oh no, no, we can't plug a fucking kettle in. Brr. Oh well. Look at the room you've got in here for the cable at the top here on this old plug. You don't get that on modern plugs anymore, they're quite um tight for some reason. I don't know if that's to put people off from um, doing their own wiring jobs on them. I don't know if they still do, but when I was at high school, this was one of the things they would teach you in um, science physics, in physics class. Oh, the pins are... Um, oh, okay. Well, a neutral pin seems to be, seems to be, seems to be fixed into the plug. They're not, not always, but for some reason this one is. Okay, so I just put the wire in like so. Screw this contact down. We do get sealed plugs over here. Some appliances do come with a completely sealed plug. Um, where the fuck does this come back in here? Oh, I see, like that. Yeah. We do get sealed plugs here in the UK. Not too common, though, and I actually find, or found from experience with them, that, um... The wires tend to get a break in them somewhere near the plug, or in the plug, so your device will stop working your vacuum cleaner or something. That's one of the things they usually put a sealed plug on. Something like a vacuum cleaner. That's a common one anyway for sealed plugs. Uh, but usually table lamps and other where the lead isn't likely to get tugged hard like it would um, with a vacuum cleaner. I can't show you on my vacuum cleaner because it's a 110, so it's completely different. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, that's what my stepdad used to use when he when he was self-employed. You have you have to use 110 stuff when you're on the work site, so the vacuum cleaner as well had to be 110. But because uh, mum can't use that type of vacuum cleaner. I think I've said this before, actually. She can't use that type of vacuum cleaner, so um, she borrowed my upright and I half-inched my stepdad's old one. <laughs> it's just a 110 um, Henry Vac, that's all it is. Uh, right, well, there we have it. There we have it. I've just got the... Uh, one on the Christmas lights to do. I'm sure I had some extra plugs in here. I'm sure I bought them through um, as a spare because I knew I'd be doing this job. But they're probably uh, there. So again, they're probably wherever my wire cutters are. Uh, there we go. I've got the small one made up. That would be to run oh. these lights, hopefully. Every time I burp at the moment, I taste barbecue rib. Rustler's barbecue rib. They're damn tasty, but I don't half leave a taste on your breath. <laughs> got bored so I strung these ones up. I've got all these battery lights. I think I went a bit crazy last year because um, when, when it gets pretty close to Christmas as well as just after a lot of shops saw so put all their Christmas decks out at half price so uh, I did grab quite a few battery LED strings for some reason. I don't actually know why. I think they were selling them at one ninety nine last year, and I was, they reduced them to 99p, so I just went a bit nuts. 
<laughs> what have I got? I've got two over here, one there, that's three. Four, five, six, seven. I've got another one in the bedroom, that would make eight. I think it's in the bedroom anyway. I'm sure I've actually got a couple missing, to be honest. Oh well, I'll probably turn up. Oh, that light works, sort of. That came on that Sirocco bike I got yesterday. Oh yeah, it's working. Had to clean the contacts up, and the, the switch can be a bit um, touchy, but I think that's because it's probably dirty. Because uh, when I took this off the bike, water did run out of the switch area. <laughs> so maybe if I just spray, take the cover off and spray the switch with some WD-40 and work the switch back and forth, that might fix that problem. It's only a cheapy basic light. The rear light was completely knackered. Um, I tried to clean up the battery terminals and it actually broke off just from corrosion. So it's gone in there in the bin. But yeah, the front one work. If I ever decide to sell the bike or whatever or give it to mum or I might even just fix it up and leave it at mum. So there's one there for her to use. And um, I'll leave that on the bike. I don't need it. I mean, I've got a box full under the bed, and I've got about a dozen down in the shed as well, so I definitely don't need any more lights. In fact, I'm pretty certain I've got some similar to this in the box. Should we go have a look, see? Whoopsie. <laughs> oh, crap. It's all the way under there, isn't it? Hang on. Yeah. I've got to push the tub of uh, adapters back. Oh, that actually reminds me. Oh, no, I don't. Oh, I'm having a bit of a flid moment at the moment. Flid moment. That's horrible. I apologise for that. A duh moment. I don't believe I just said that. that was, oh, no, that was horrible. Horrible thing, I'd like to say. Oh, right. I need to have a sort out in this box, so. Over we go. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, I have lots of various lights of all shapes and sizes and types and. Oh, really? got another one of these down in the shed. Oh, it's not a smart brand though, I don't think. There's any batteries in it? Nope. Right. Keep hold of that one then. Got another one of these, but with a black case. So even if I don't use this one, I've got one sitting here with a spare bulb in it and whatnot, so... I'm bloody looking for them. <laughs> uh, oh. I'm stupid cheap things. Got one that fell apart. <laughs> oh. Certain I. I've got this one that's similar, but not that. Maybe that's the one I'm thinking of. Oh, hang on. No, it's not. I have found it. It is near enough identical. It's got a different colour switch on it, and that doesn't have all the writing on the top, but it is near enough identical. Oh, I just found another one. Oh, that one ain't got a bracket on it. And that's a cat eye as well, so it's a good one. I don't actually know what batteries that take. I don't know if any of these actually work. Well, if I have tested them, I've forgotten. A couple of those. Bags of sheep. 
Right. That's what we can do then. We'll um, open these up, stick some batteries in, and see if they work. That's why I couldn't sit back on the chair. I'm going to try. Yep. Completely identical, apart from the uh, writing. And this one hasn't got a faded lens, but even under the... Oh, this one's got a CE mark on it. This one doesn't. Mm. Oh, and that's another difference. This one's got a um, low battery indicator. I don't know why you need a low battery indicator on it, because your low battery indicator would be when your light starts to go dim. When your light starts to go dim, you know the batteries need replacing. So, <laughs> that, <laughs> that don't make sense to me. Yeah, these are completely identical lamps. Right. Take the screw out. Can I get the cover off? Blue. Run away back. Alright. We'll be back on camera in just a second. So, what we got? I don't even know what batteries any of these take. Let me just grab the battery tub. Just in case. There's no point in me taking a taking a pew. Oh, oh. He must decided to uh, abandon the ship. Right, let's start with this one first, shall we? Well, that's got a washer in there as well. The other one hasn't, unless it fell off. <laughs> I actually have to say, this one feels cheaper as well. So I've got a feeling this might be a knockoff. Oh, yep. The other one doesn't do this either. <laughs> Work. Now, I'm not sure who's knocked who off here. But from the feel of it, I'd say this one's the knockoff. I can't even get a fucking battery in there, in there. That works. The switch feels a bit... Doesn't feel like it locks in place, but yeah, that works, that's fine. It's got the same bracket on it, so I know what bracket to look for for this. Well, there's a bit more charge in here, so we'll see if it's any better with these ones. Oh, yeah. Oh. That might be a cheaper knockoff, but um, it's just as bright as the other one. Oh. Although the other one is better built. <laughs> this one falls to bits. You can take the screw out. At least the other one doesn't. No one likes this style of light anymore, though. They like the LEDs, so... I don't even know why I keep holding them, to be honest. Let's do this funny-shaped one, shall we? Screws in the top here. Take that apart. It's just the same setup as the other two, really. Just a different shape design. Batteries go in exactly the same way. Switch doesn't want to slide. <laughs> Come on, you bastard. Yep, now it's in the off position. I want it to go to the on position. It's going to work well now, isn't it? Ooh. It's working. What's it going to be like if I hold the uh, lid section on? If I can get it to go on. Yeah, 
Yeah, it doesn't really shine. It's what I never liked about lights like this. They don't really shine on beam you can uh, use to um, see with, see where you're going. But um, they were always plenty bright enough to be seen. But um, if you've got family out in the countryside, like I have, uh, then these become sort of useless to see where you're going. But um, they seem to have rectified that with these modern LED lights. Well, that would be a different screw on there, wouldn't it? It would be a bloody slotted screw. I hate slotted screws because the screwdrivers always slide off. And I always stab my hand. Oh, they're all C size. Oh, hello. What's that in there for? <laughs> Bit of tin foil randomly in there. It looks like it's holding something. Oh, spider's egg in here for some. Well, I'm not sure if that's a spider's egg or. Ooh, it works. It's Oh, I remember where I got this from. This came from the all sorts shop in town. Just a random little trinket I picked up for... I don't know now, probably pennies. <laughs> but this doesn't have a clip on the bottom, so I can't... put it on any bracket. But there is some screw holes there, so I could probably make my own one up. Because I've got the um, rear light that goes with one of these. Oh, I have to say, that gives off a decent beam. For that sort of design, anyway. It's a halogen, so I'd probably be inclined to use Energizer or Duracell. Yeah. That's actually uh, working pretty well, switches. There's no flicker. That's another thing I hated with um, lights of this sort of cheapness. Because you'd flick the switch on and off, and well, in this case it'll only go off, it won't go on. Not without a fight. But the switch would all go all funny, and you, the light will just continuously flicker because the connections are crap. Although this one isn't bad either, to be honest. But it is just that's a completely identical shape. See? Identical bracket. Oh, hang on. No, it's not. Oh, no, it isn't. It's, um, it's got smaller runners on this one. Ah. This one's definitely a knockoff of this one. And actually, I don't think that's a genuine CE mark either, to be honest. Yeah, this has got the low battery indicator on it there. Oh, Sport Direct, this one. This lens will actually go straight in there, though. But they're just as bright as each other, even with that. It's not affecting the light output, so... It actually looks like the headlights on my mum's um, Mitsubishi. They've gone like that. Yeah. Lights... Lights everywhere. Here we go. I do you like this one? I wouldn't mind trying to fit that maybe to the giant when I've got that done. So um, I am going to do that giant for myself. Because I'm back down to only having one mountain bike at the moment. And I don't think I'll bother with the Saracen. I'll have another look over it when I'm over back over mum's. Um, I would like to do it up because it's a nice frame. It would be nice to have done up. It would be nice to cruise around on it. Um, I've got to change the forks in it though, although I have got something I could throw in it temporarily. They're a bit rusty, but I could throw them in temporarily. But there are some nice spares on it, if anything. <laughs> um... See if I can get some photos when I'm next over there. 
Right. Oh dear. Uh, well, I don't think I'm going over to Mum's this weekend. She uh, can't use the car at the moment. Whenever that sort. <gasps> oh dear. Mm. Ah. Uh. I'm actually just thinking, you know, what to do with these lights. I was going to say I can't fucking sell them, not at this precise moment anyway, but uh, I wouldn't get bugger all for that anyway, so no point. I'm going to have to get my tub of brackets out from the cupboard, I think. Hold on, what's that got written on it? Well, that's got a CE mark on it as well, but that's really spaced. Batteries. Bulb, 2.5 volt, 0.5 amp to 0.75 amp. Close to pulling an amp. What about this halogen one? No, zero point five amp. Hmm. So in theory then this shouldn't drain batteries any faster than a bog standard bulb cycle light if that's both rated the same. Half an amp in theory. Cat eye co made in Japan. Ah, so that's where cat eye is made. Yeah, I've got the rear light that matches this one. That's why I've kept it. I'll try and make some sort of bracket up eventually. Anyway, I've got to call the video quits. Before it calls it quits on me. Because <laughs> it's coming up to the um, time limit. So uh, thanks a lot for watching, as always. Don't forget to like the video, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. So, uh, I'll talk to you again soon. Bye. Bye.